Hello Applied Mathers. We are going to take a journey on how to do add data to our spreadsheet. So of course let's go down to our Florin project and again we like to attach our sheet and our work here so that it's organized and all we have to do is click there. We don't have to go into drive at all. Alright so we've already calculated the dimensions right here. Next thing we want to do is do a little bit of research here. A little bit of research here. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to look up some expensive wood right now. So I'm going to go to our first um, the link here provided for Home Depot. And again, if you have a different source you'd like to do, that's totally, totally fine. So looking down here, I'm going to do some hardwood, solid hardwood flooring. And again, this is completely up to you. I want you to find the type of material that you like. I'm going to randomly select hickory here, but you can go with oak, red oak, or other. And while we're waiting, I'm going to sort into um, from high to low because I want to find an expensive oak here. So sort by and let's do high low. So it's a little bit slow right now. So there we go. All right. Now when it loads, we can see here. All right. So here's something that I can look up and we're going to enter some of this data here. So I have Bruce American Hickory Smoke. All right, and again, we've got multiple colors, rustic or otherwise. So the data that we're going to look at here, so give me a second to pull it up. Okay, and um, here we have solid hardwood flooring uh, for my home. Now, we see this right here. It says $5.49 for square foot, but it's not sold by the square foot. See how it's sold? It's sold by the carton. Okay, so like a case of things. All right, so we can ignore the unavailable options right now. We're just going to go with the prices here. Um, although I did see one. I said I wanted it to be more expensive. Ah, there we go. So let's go with the smoky topaz. Okay, and um, so let's see here. Expensive wood. So I'm actually going to call this um, smoky topaz. So notice what I did here. I did not simply just say expensive wood and that's it. Now I also want to have a link so that we can access this data so that as a teacher I can verify it. So watch this. If you go up to the um, link button, where'd you go? There it is, this chain link, insert link. And I'm just going to do control K or command K. It's a lot faster. So watch this. I'm going to do control K. And notice here, it now gives me a link option. So where do I get that link? Well, we're just going to get that link from the URL up on the top. So let me drag down here so you can see. All right, so I'm just going to select the entire uh, URL here and Control C. If you're using a Mac, you can do Control V. And then uh, I'm just going to do, or, excuse me, uh, Command C. And now I'm going to do Control or Command V and hit Apply. Good. So now notice this. Anytime I'm hovering over it, I can actually see a preview here or uh, link to it and go to it. So uh, you're going to do that for every single one of these over here. If you're going to take this to the next level, I to like an A level, you're going to want to get a picture of this, either a screenshot or right click and, and get the picture and um, insert it into uh, somewhere onto this sheet here. So uh, let's see what's it sold by. Okay, so let's go back over here. It's sold by the carton, as we see here. Okay, so let's do that. Carton. How much does it cost per carton? That's what the per unit means. It doesn't mean per square foot. Um, all right, so it is uh, 203.31. And notice my formatting here is not accurate. So I'm going to select all these cells. I don't know how many of them I'm going to use. And I do want to format them to dollars. Okay, now here's the next part unit covers. Well, how much does the carton cover? And that's what this here tells me. It tells me it covers 18.5 square feet. All right, so that's what I put, 18.5 square feet. So unit covers, I'm going to put the square feet up here, like so. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit more there, so just so it's uh, a little bit more clean. Okay, 
Now, so how many units do I need? So this is going to get a little bit more complicated. How many units do I need? Well, notice this. I need a total of 1,170 square feet, and each case covers only 18. So we're going to do a quick division there. So do equals, and click on this right here, because that's the total square feet, and we're going to divide it by the 18.5. Now, notice the problem right here. The problem right here is 63. What does that mean? It means I need 63 cartons. 0.24, but I can't buy 2.24, so what do I do? So instead, let's go ahead and insert in front the word roundup. Spell that correct? Roundup, begin parentheses, and end parentheses. So what's this do? It says do this division, but then round up to the next integer. So notice it goes to 64. So there we go. We do a division and uh, we are going to do the roundup. Now, here's the pr another problem. Remember when we are doing auto-filling, if I auto-fill right here, I'm going to start getting these, un these weird numbers here. Obviously, I don't have things yet here or um, down here, but let's see what's happening. I'm going to double-click on this to see what's now happened. See the purple right here? But now I have this orange here. But wait a tick, Swenson, I wanted it to stay here. Because remember, when we drag, what this does is it drags, uh, so here it's the purple, it's the orange divided by purple, okay? Now this one here is the orange here, but it pulled it down and it pulled this one down because we're down in the next level. Same thing here. This one pulls it down again, but it look, it, now it's pulling this. I want it to stay here. So I want these numbers over here to be pulled down, but I want this one to stay. So what's the magic? Okay, built into every spreadsheet, the way to lock something in place is the dollar sign. So in front of the B, because that's the address of this one, B4, we're going to do a dollar sign. And then in front of the 4, we're going to do a dollar sign. In, in, in other words, it says lock in the column B, B so if we went left and right, it would, uh, wouldn't go left, this wouldn't stay, excuse me, this would stay and not go left or right. And this one says lock in the row, the 4. Okay, so now watch. When I pull this down or up, notice what happens here. Double click here. I see the orange divided by purple. Double click here. Oh, the orange is still here, and now the purple did shift down. And notice here. Oh, good. So now the moment I enter something in right here, let's just say this one covers 44. Look, now I need 27 of them. And let's say this one covers um, 100. This, oh, I need 12 units of these things. So notice it auto calculates. Now I do want to point out to you that it works the other direction as well. I can auto fill up like this. Now division is still by zero, but uh, because I haven't entered numbers in here, which we'll do in just a moment. Okay, now let's get to the total here. What's the total? Um, and let's be more specific, total um, cost. Okay, total cost. And notice it's the total cost for this smoky right there. So notice I need 64 cartons, and each carton costs that. So what do we do? Equals 64, shift 8 to do times, and there. And now $13,000. And now I don't need to lock anything in place because I'm just taking this number here and multiplying it by this. So it's going to be the same over there. So I can auto-fill down. I'm still going to get a problem with division until I auto-fill. And now watch this. The moment I enter something in here, so let's say this one is uh, $65, and this one here covers 22, right? Notice everything automatically autofills, and that's the benefit. Okay, so now let's look at one other, maybe carpet, okay? Inexpensive carpet. So I'm going to go back to, um, whoops, flooring here. All right, and now I'm going to choose indoor carpet. As I can see, I've got indoor carpet here. Now, I'm just going to uh, do a quick sort from least expensive to most expensive, so low to high, uh, just so I can get a really, really cheap carpet here. And while we're loading, I will sing to you a song. Si porque te crees muy bonita. Si. Okay, there we go. Now, this is a 12-foot carpet right here and it's going to cost uh, 65 cents per square foot or by square yard. So we don't know what that means yet because we don't know how this is sold. So I'm going to select on this 
and go deeper into this, see how this thing is sold. We do know it's a 12 foot carpet, okay? And I'm gonna do a quick search. You can do uh, Control or Command F to do a search. And I'm gonna look up sold by. Oh, it's sold by one foot length increments. What does that mean? All right, so here is my carpet right here. It's a roll that's 12 feet long. And what they do is they pull out a foot right here and then they cut. So they're not gonna sell it in this manner. They're not going to say, oh, here's a square foot, let's cut that out and charge you the 65 cents. Yay for 65 cents, okay? No, what they're going to do is pull it out by one foot and cut it, or pull it out, you know, 10 feet and cut it. So now it's always gonna be something one foot by 12 feet, or two feet by 12 feet, or three feet by 12 feet. So how is it sold? It's actually sold in this way. It's sold in one by 12 increments. One by 12 increments. What does that mean? Okay, so let's come back now to our sheet just to see what that's going to look like. Okay, so it's, it's actually sold by the roll, really, because we're getting a roll of 12 foot. But the cost per unit is this. Wait, it doesn't say how much it costs there. You're right, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of calculation. It's 65 foot per square foot, 65 cents per square foot. But notice, what do we always get? We don't get one square foot here, we get 12 square feet here. So it's gonna be sold by 65 times 12. Well, what is that? Well, don't worry about it. We don't even have to do that calculation. Just type it in. How is it cost per unit? It's 12 foot by times 0 0.65. And there we go. It's $7.80. Every time they pull out, every time they pull out one foot, this is going to cost $7.80. Then another one, $7.80. So if you pull out 100 feet of these, you're going to pay $780. Okay, how much does this cover? Ah, it doesn't actually say covers nine square feet. No, 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 that's if it's a square yard. Remember what we did. How much does it cover? It covers 12 square feet. I pull out a foot, so this right here, the $7.80 is gonna cover 12 square feet. Okay, so let's bring that back here and do 12 square feet. Boom, look at automatically. If I buy this inexpensive roll, and I get 98 uh, feet out. So it's gonna have, they're gonna have to pull out 98 feet, which really is gonna be a couple more rolls here, but they're gonna pull out this way, 98 feet. And then we are gonna cut it up on our own to make it fit the room better. And it's gonna cost less than $800. And there we go. So you're gonna do the same thing here for all these other ones. Find an expensive carpet like shag carpet or whatever, inexpensive wood, you can go for tile or mirrors or whatever crazy thing that you would like to do. All right, one last thing I would like to show you is maybe how to get a picture in. So I'm just gonna do it over on the side right now because it's not, um, but you can format it later. Notice that if I were to uh, view the image, let me see, if I right click, see I can copy the image, or copy the image location, it's gonna give a URL. So then I come back here and I'm going to go to insert image. And where do I want it, in the cell or over the cell? It actually doesn't matter right now, but let's just do in the cell. And I'm going to, by URL, I'm gonna paste it. Good, the image shows up, insert the image, and now I have an image shown up there. Wait, but it's super, 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 super small. You're right, it is. So I could just make things larger right here so I get a better view. And every time I enter a picture, I get a better view. So if you'd like to do that, you can even insert it over into this thing or wherever, or float it, etc. cetera. Uh, so those are options now on how to fill up this table using your formulas and also inserting pictures as well as inserting our friend, the hyperlink. Good luck to you.